Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video we will get started using the Algorand wallet. So first of all, why do we even need to have Algorand on our own non-custodial wallet? The answer for that is pretty simple. Um, if you have your Algorand on an exchange, um, the exchange is redeeming the staking rewards for you, but they usually take a huge cut. For example, Coinbase, for example, thing takes 25% of the staking rewards. And if you have a large stake in Algorand, um, then that's, well, yeah, you're, uh, well, cutting huge losses if you don't put it on your own non-custodial wallet. And even in some regions, for example, Coinbase is not even paying out the staking rewards at all. So, for example, in, in Austria, when I have my Algorand on Coinbase, I am not even receiving staking rewards. And, well, yeah, so, uh, quickly to staking rewards, um, if you have your algorand on your own account every seven minutes or something like that you receive staking rewards based on the stake you have in the network and this is just part of the tokenomics so to all the people who have algorand in the wallets at least one algorand they automatically receive staking rewards so we can see here the current apy is 5.71 percent this decreases over time and time and for example if you have whatever 5000 algorand you get on a weekly basis about 5.4 algorand and this decreases, like I said, over time. So when I first started, or a little longer ago, the API was about 8% or something like that. So like I said, it slowly decreases over time, it's all part of the tokenomics. And yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we will need, so like I said, you have, it's very important to not have your Algorand on an exchange account so they have a pooled account usually and like i said they're not really paying out the staking rewards that's good and that's why it's well more better if you have it in your own non custodial wallet uh, also you you can use the Algorand wallet it's just a software wallet but you can also use for example a hard wallet like the legend on s or x uh like a trezor or whatever it doesn't matter so the, the it doesn't matter what kind of wallet it is you will always get the staking rewards it's just important that it's in your own non-custodial wallet. All right, so let's get started. So I'm just gonna install the Algorand wallet here. Um, after installing it, so I'm gonna open that one here. So we can see here, I'm just gonna quickly look if I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it to English. All right, so I've changed language to English so it's easier for you to understand here. Um, right, so I'm gonna add a account. So we are gonna, oh, my bad, we will, yeah, we want to add an account. Uh, add account, so we're going to create a new one. You also have the possibility to just um, import uh, your seed phrase here. So I'm just curious. Ah, okay, in this case it would be 25 words, so they're using now a different standard, so it won't work. So we're going to click on add account. You can even see you can pair it with your, with your ledger device, so that's also pretty cool. So if you already have that, you can just pair that. Um, but in my case, I'm going to create a new account. I do understand. So like I said, this passphrase here is super important. I, they uh, unfortunately changed it to a new standard apparently with 25 words. That's, yeah, so that's too bad, I think. Um, right, you can also add account just to watch. So as we know, it's a public blockchain, so you can just add a account just and watch that one. Um, so I would recommend using pairing with, with a ledger device, so it would be the best option here. But in my case, I'm going to create a new one. Um, I'm just going to screenshot that here. So I'm just going to take that here for now and screenshot that, like I said. Um, let's continue. So, right. I'm just going to open it as well <coughs> because now it's going to ask me um, to verify that. <coughs> right. So what do you have here? Word 16 is tree. Word 11 is meat so very important here you have to write it down or whatever store it somewhere safe um so what i'm doing here i'm just doing it that way <clears throat> because i don't intend to keep the account it's just for test purposes right now so if you do that and you create a new account please write it on on, on whatever piece of paper uh digitally and encrypted whatever but that one here that is a master password anyone that if you have these 25 words you can access your algorithm account so import it always so even if you for example lose the phone <clears throat> and reinstall the algorand app you can import it using these 25 words <clears throat> okay right <clears throat> okay my bad sorry and word six is heard all right let's go on so we are done here so it's the test account 
And right, so now here's our algorithm wallet. So you can see here, there are also, uh, there are also assets you can add here. So they have, uh, um, for example, also the token has some shares and stuff like that. Um, but in my case, I want to add algorithms to my wallet. So address here. So I'm just gonna copy, my, um, click on um, click on the receive, copy this address, and I will send algorithm from my exchange to this address. So for now, I'm gonna pause the video, and I'm gonna send uh, from in my case, I would be sending algorithm from Binance to this address here. So I made a transaction from Binance to this account, and in the meantime, while it's being processed by Binance, I am going to show you a little bit more about the Algorand Explorer. So as you know, with all the public blockchains, there are explorers, so um, just tools, websites, which offer you the possibility to just know a little bit more about the network and also check transactions. So you can see here, for example, um, what the so here are the latest blocks that have been uh, well added to the chain. Um, you can see the last transaction. So some people sending algorithms, some people sending uh, some assets here. Uh, what else is there? You can see the block speed is also very fast. So 4.4 seconds. It takes 4.4 seconds per block to process, and currently they're handling 10 transactions per second. You can see the amount of accounts, how much a transaction costs. And you can also, in my case, you can also add. Um, what was it? I can also add the account address, so it already arrived now. And now you can see here, I've got now 21.38 whatever algorand on my account, so in this wallet, in the soft wallet. And you can see here my rewards are starting to uh, starting to rain in more or less. So you can see here the rewards, so um, so whatever, think about every eight minutes or something like that, you get your rewards added. But very important now, there's the interesting part, these rewards are not automatically added to your account. They will be added once you do a transaction. So for now, I've got a reward of 0 0.00018, but this, these rewards here are not added to my balance yet. They will be added as soon as I do my first transaction. So uh, not, not first transactions, but on e every time you receive or you send um, Algorand, the rewards are being uh, added to your account. So it's also a little bit weird if you're in uh, using Ledger Live, then the rewards are already added to your account, so they're shown on your account balance, but actually they're not on your added to your account yet. So it's, it's, you know, it's a little bit weird uh, in the Ledger Live app. So meaning that, like I said, the rewards are added as soon as you do your receive uh, algorand or if you send algorand, then the rewards are automatically added to your algorand balance. And before you don't do that, it's not, like I said, it's not going to be there. Uh, this is very important for the comp compounding interest because if uh, you get currently um, the staking rewards based on 21.38, well, let's for example have rewards uh, w which are about 10 then these 10 algorithms, which you would have in rewards, they are not being staked. So that's, uh, that's why, for example, if you have a larger stake, you should, for example, do that once a week or maybe once a month in order that you gain compound interest. So for example, yeah, you can just, so doing that is very simple. If you want your rewards, you just, for example, do a transaction and send the smallest unit you can. Um, so in this case, 0 0.001, so to yourself. So you can also send it to yourself. And right, and then you would pay, like I said, the, or, or you can even send zero. Yeah, you can even send nothing. Uh, you would be only paying the fee. So in my case, this w wouldn't be that clever <coughs> since my staking rewards are very low, but I'm just gonna do it for the sake of uh, showing it. So, <coughs> okay, I'm, <coughs> I'm gonna do it now. All right, so um, now I'm just gonna go to preview. I will be paying 0 0.001, like I said, as fee, uh, but these uh, 0 0.00022 will be added to my account balance as soon as that one is verified. So now that this is gonna be added here. And any second now. Yeah, now it should be the case that these rewards were added to my account balance. Yeah, and now my rewards here reset and you can see here that it was added to that part there. So this was not the clever since I paid 0 0.001 in fees, but only my rewards were quite low. But yeah, that's how it works basically. Now the rewards have reset because a transaction has done and you checked those out and they were added to your account balance. And now I'm getting the staking rewards based on my current stake. 
All right, so what else is there to add about Algorand? Algorand is a pure proof of store, <coughs> pure proof of stake network. They have, so if you want to know more about the consensus algorithm, you can go to developer.algorand.com slash docs slash run a node, participate. Oh my, what I meant here on the Algorand consensus. So they have a verifiable random function. And you can see here that there are just multiple nodes in the network. Obviously, they all, all hold a certain stake. And based on the stake, you have a higher chance of being selected as the next uh, node who is al allowed to propagate um, the next block. Uh, but for that, you can look into it a little bit more closely. You could make a follow-up video on explaining how it works in more detail. But for now, I just want to show you a little bit more about Algorand. It's also very fast. Um, you should also look into tokenomics. So there, they have special, uh, special obviously, so e each project has their own tokenomics. Um, but that's, that's at least good to know how that works here. So that you, that you don't wonder, for example, why, whatever. So th did you more or less know how it's going to be uh, doing in the long term? You can see here they have, so they have, for example, the community incentives. So these the particip uh, participation rewards are for the uh, nodes. Then we've got the early backers, relay nodes, cont uh, con contingent incentives. Uh, cont uh, what else is there? Uh, we've got some funds here, and they're also like the staking rewards program, something like that. Oh, or maybe it was also. What else is there? Oh, okay, these are the participation rewards scale. Yeah, you would just would have to look over it a little bit more in order to understand, like I said, how that exactly words, uh, works. And right, so I will link all the sources here, so you can so you can also see here how they intend to. So the the total supply of Algorand is 10 billion, and you can see here they mapped out their own idea how they want to distribute it until 2030. So you will have to look into it yourself. Um, right, anything else to mention here? Like I said, it's you can also stake uh, Algorand in any wallet more or less it doesn't matter so there's nothing special required it's just important that it is a non-custodial wallet and whenever you want to redeem the stake you have to do a transaction so either receive a transaction or do a transaction yourself with somebody else and send zero and then you're automatically redeeming your rewards and they're added to your account balance all right so that's it for this video so thanks for watching and see you in the next one